Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star, and I'm here with a prophetic dream. In this dream, I am with a friend, and this friend has a bar. We were inside of her bar, and um, she was uh, deciding to use a mannequin to make her butt look bigger. And then after she had done it, she decides to put it away and starts to tell me that it's too much. And it, it, it doesn't, it didn't give her the look she was looking for. The scripture God sent me to is Jeremiah 6, 13 through 15. From the least to the greatest, all are greedy for gain. Prophets and priests alike all practice deceit. They dress the wound of my people as though it were not serious. Peace, peace, they say, when there is no peace. Are they ashamed of their detestable conduct? No, they have no shame at all. They do not even know how to blush. So they will fall among the fallen. They will be brought down when I punish them, says the Lord. So I feel like with this scripture and with this dream, God is saying that he is tired of people trying to dress up their pain. In reality, in this dream, um, it shows a problem that women have today. And so many women have this pain and this problem with their image. So many women are trying to find a quick and fast way to cover up their insecurities. And, you know, in reality, we are all completely different. We are all shaped different. We all have different beauty. We all have different different aspects of us. And, you know... um. What one man likes, another man is not going to like. And that's the same thing for a woman. What one woman likes, another woman is not going to like. And this ideal that has been going on for the past decade, that um, all women should look the same. All women should have the same body type. All women should have the same features. All women should contour their faces the same way. It is absolutely ridiculous. Honestly, y'all, Two, 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 as I said that. But honestly, y'all, I um I used to contour. I used to contour. I used to contour. And to this day, even though I have a huge makeup case, um, I don't contour my face anymore. And I very rarely, I think since I have been home, I have used foundation once and it was just a powder foundation because my face was so oily. I have very oily skin. But in reality, when I do wear makeup on my videos, to those of you um, that tell me that it's beautiful, thank you. But to those of you that tell me I have on too much makeup, all I did was outline my brows and uh, with a pencil and then conceal it. And that's it. And put on lipstick. That is the only makeup that I wear. I don't pour on a bunch of makeup. Everything else on my face is tip is natural. Honestly, it is. I don't even use blush anymore. But I feel like God is saying that he is sick and tired of people trying to conceal and patch up internal hurt. You know, um, we try to cover up how we feel and we try to um, find ways to fix ourselves because in reality, one thing that social media has done, it has allowed bullies to hide behind a keyboard and everybody is not like your girl to where you just shrug off somebody trying to tell you something and you move on you know everybody is not going to call somebody out on their bluff and everybody is not uh willing to pull up okay <laughs> but everybody not about that life god just said everybody not about that life and some people when they get all of these nasty comments they get all of this backlash they get a lot of people talking down on them and making them feel insecure about themselves especially if they have the money to do so they will go out and try to figure out a way to fix whatever the person said was wrong with them because in reality that was something that hurt them and God is saying that he is sick and tired of people trying to patch up things and instead of fix the internal problem you know that that's just like the problem of this war this that's going on between men and women instead of men accepting the fact that most women do not want to be masculine most women um 
would dream of being a wife. They dream of having children. They dream of taking care of their family. And it used to be that way until it got to a point to where men decided that they wanted to get divorced. And men decided that they wanted to leave their families. And men decided that they wanted to um, find somebody new. They wanted to find somebody that seemed better. They wanted to find this. They wanted to do that. Men started all of this. But instead of them fixing the internal problem, they are just trying to patch it up by telling women that they are the ones that need to change. And they are upset because the times have changed from where we just accept what men tell us to do. And we just accept that we're the problem and we're now standing up for ourselves. Now there are a lot of men that are getting upset about that. And in reality, it is a sad thing that a lot of women go out getting these surgeries because they want to impress men. They, they're they doing all of this to find that man that will do anything for them, that will love them no matter what, that will shower them with all the love and affection. And in reality, there are so many men saying that they don't even like this, yet the women who have these shapes, the women that go out and get all of this done are getting more attention from men than women who are in their natural forms. So, you know, it's just, which is it? Okay. <laughs> I just feel like God is saying that we have to fix the internal wounds. We have to fix what's really going on. Yes, it is true. It is very crazy to go out and get such a dangerous surgery. Um, as somebody, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, but I did study some medical and I do know that um, that area is, it has so many different veins, so many major arteries that if uh, they are just punctured by a needle in the wrong way, it could paralyze somebody. So it is a very dangerous surgery. It is a life-threatening surgery and it's very scary to think of how many women are going out out of their way to get this surgery done just so that they can feel affection from men and you know god is saying that we have to stop thinking that we can just patch up this internal hurt because yeah you may have you survived and you're doing good and you're looking good and you may very well meet the person that you want but internally you have not fixed that wound and because of that anybody that says anything to hurt your feelings is going to hurt 10 times more because now not only are you not your normal self but somebody is still saying these mean things about you somebody is still talking about you somebody is still looking at you some kind of way and you have went out your way to get this dangerous life-threatening surgery just to make yourself into this person that you thought was perfect and in reality nobody is perfect nobody is perfect and you know it, it's 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 nothing that is going to you know god is saying bait and switch and i feel like you cannot create yourself into this perfect person just to put out some bait you know I feel like you would more genuinely find somebody that loves you and cares about you if you be yourself than if you uh, try to dress yourself up as this um, artificial somebody. And this is coming from somebody that used to be a model. Um, I have even noticed that I had this idea of the perfect guy for me. And I dated two guys that match that articulum and i realized that my theory of the perfect guy was absolutely nonsense and he does not exist and me saying that i realized that um as a model who had to have a full face of makeup everywhere i went and had to dress a certain way and had the certain cars and I, it was just like the I wasn't attracting what I wanted. And I feel like a lot of women don't realize that by going out on a limb, doing these uh, dangerous surgeries and completely changing themselves and they are not really attracting the kind of guy they truly want and they truly deserve, you know? Um, I even come to find out that I don't even, at this moment in time in my life, I am happy with not wearing makeup. 
Yeah, I'll put on some lashes every now and then. Yeah, I'll do my brows every now and then. I wear lipstick. I like to feel pretty too. But at the same time, I feel beautiful without my makeup. I don't feel as though I have to have all of that just to um, attract somebody. And then on top of that, I feel like a lot of times we go after these quick fixes instead of taking out the time to really fix ourselves. They kind of shape, you know, everybody is not designed to have the same shape. However, you can get your body in the best shape just by working out. One other thing that I realized just by lifting weights, just by um, going on a jog every day, just by um, stretching or whatever it is that you decide to do. There are so many other natural ways that you can get your body in order. And face-wise, there are so many other ways. You know, um, we are in the middle of me. I'm going to be going over my personal Esther fast. And there are so many ways to get your skin condition in order so that you don't have to feel as though you have to wear makeup. And, you know... Even though I know some women don't have to wear makeup. Some women use it as, um, I know me personally, I used to. My uh, acknowledgement of makeup was, of course, because I have a, um, my own makeup collection. It makes no sense for me not to wear makeup, especially when I first started it. But it was an expression to me to express my love for art because I do love art. And I used to love to paint and draw and all of that. So I would love to do the big, bold, colorful, like I went all out with my makeup. But, you know, I just feel like God is saying that you don't have to do all that to attract somebody. Uh, when that person is truly for you, when it is the person that is meant for you to be with, you will realize that that's too much. Just like in the dream, she got this artific artificial mannequin type body. And she felt like it was the it would be the perfect um, body for her. And then once she had it, she realized that it was too much and she didn't really need it. And God is saying that you don't need all that. And he is sick and tired of people um, coming out and trying to make you feel like if you patch yourself up, you're going to be healed. Are you going to be saved? Are you going to be fixed? And it doesn't work that way. All of these things, that they take time. It's not just a one-day thing. It takes a while to, um, to heal from internal wounds. You know, even things that may have happened middle school, high school, your childhood, it, it, it really puts such a... It can really hurt you in the long run. There are things that happened to me in my childhood that I realized that I had to heal from because I was holding on to those things. I was holding on to trauma and I was holding on to hurt. I was holding on to just so many things that happened. And eventually I realized like, girl, why are you still worried about this? Why are you still hurt behind this? Why are you still worried about these people? Why do you still care? And one thing we don't realize is that forgiveness is not for the other person. It's for you. Once you forgive that person, you will be able to move forward. You'll be able to move on with your life. That person has already moved on with their life. They didn't hurt you. They didn't stump on your heart. They didn't drug your name through the mud. And now they have moved on with their life and they don't even care about you anymore. But what they have done to you was so traumatic and it was so hurtful that you are holding on to it because you are having a hard time healing from such a traumatic moment, from such a uh, traumatic situation. And God is saying that you have to release these things to him. You have to come to him and you have to truly be healed from these things. Otherwise, you will just be trying to patch yourself up. And you're just running around with all of these bags. It's baggage and baggage and baggage. And that's the message, y'all. God is saying there is no peace because you are not allowing him to heal you. You are not allowing yourself to be healed properly. God is saying they dress the womb of my people as though it is not serious. God is saying these are serious situations. And a lot of times we... 
you know, people, um, some adults will try to play it off as um, going through childhood bullying are going through childhood trauma as something that happens to everybody. Oh, you'll get over it. Oh, you'll be okay. But some people are so wounded by these things that they never actually get over it when they grow old. When they become an adult, they actually carry on with all of this hurt, all this insecurity, all of this pain, and they carry it around. Some people will stand around and hold a grudge on somebody 20, 30 years after whatever happened has happened. They still hate this person. They still can't stand this person. If they were to see them somewhere, they are, you know, trying to do anything they can to be mean to them or to try to make them feel the hurt that they made them feel all those years ago. And nine out of 10, that person don't even remember. And I'm saying that to say that these situations are traumatic. You know, I I can't stand it when um, an adult or a parent or even a teacher tries to play off a child's feelings as though they don't have feelings and their emotions are not real. Their emotions are real. And we know this because me, myself, as 31 years old, I remember things that happened to me. And I remember how I felt. And I remember the emotions I felt. And, um... I'm not carrying on with those things. I'm not holding baggage with those things. But at, in reality, I know that at that moment in time in my life, I did feel hurt and I did feel pain. These emotions are real in children. And, you know, it is very dangerous if you don't allow yourself to heal from some of these things because you'll be carrying these things on in your life. Every time you meet someone that reminds you of someone that hurts you, you're going to be trying to be mean to them. You're going to be trying to get back at this person who is not even there anymore. That's the message, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.